Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we are back in Project 1999 on Malagdori at the AC camp in Guck. Um, or Upper Guck, rather. And I wanted to talk to you about... <laughs> not so much important things, I guess. Or maybe they are, and I'm taking it lightly, or I'm over-exaggerating. However you want to take it, let's talk. So, enchanters, you are our friends, you give us mana region, you give us haste, you give us, you slow the mob for us, you pretty much say, hey, here's your advantage, here's your little cheat, and we are thankful for it. But I've been having problems with different enchanters um, charming the mob that I am tanking if i'm the main tank and i am the one that's supposed to be holding taunt then they assist me and then they charm the mob we've been fighting now at these levels um we had a we had a healer by the way so we were being healed so at these levels it really doesn't matter uh, it does it does matter a lot because you are really messing with my chi uh, because you are um, making me fight a mob and then deciding that, hey, you need to switch mobs because I don't want to click on another mob to charm it. That's what I'm getting from it. But um, So once you charm it, uh, either we need to notice the fact that we're not doing damage anymore or that um, spells aren't hitting it. And then we have to turn around and start attacking another mob because you felt that we didn't need to be fighting that mob at that time. Um, so then we turn around, we fight that mob, and then now you have a pet that you that we have to still kill um, when you could have just mezzed the other mob while we fought the current mob. Now, I understand the concept that by charming a mob when you have more than one that you're adding DPS to the group via said pet but when you pull it from what we're attacking then you are really just playing with the group and saying that hey I hate you <laughs> that's, that's not true uh, but you are saying things like uh, you are showing us that you don't have the time to click on another mob and it makes me really have to decide if that's something that I want to deal with in the future. So that's all I really wanted to complain about on that. But I wanted to talk to you guys about future your class. So all classes have things that they do in a group. And once you learn those things, you use those all the way up until level 60. You get new spells and then you reuse, uh, you rearrange your spells to how you, to your growth. But your class is, if you're a channel, your crowd control, you are utility and um, that's what you do. But if you were in a group, say in, let's say Soul B, and we were in the Royals camp, and we just pulled um, uh, we pulled mobs to that camp and you decided that you wanted to charm the mob that we were tanking, then we're, I'm going to have a really sore taste in my mouth about you. And this is how it works in this kind of game. This, the MMO genre is that people remember who they group with and how you act or play your class will really depend on if those people will group with you again. This goes into, I have a wizard. You know that if you've been watching my videos. And if you play a wizard and you are constantly over and over and over again pulling aggro because you're overcasting, then, um, then you won't be in the groups with the people that you've been grouping with because of it. Now you'll have your friends who will always invite you to groups, but then you will have people in those groups that before you join will say, I group with that guy and he does not know how to play his class. 
it's very it's very so uh, it's a social experiment really when you think about it because in reality whenever you go to a job to apply and you have people there that know you for things that you've done at other jobs they will be a negative reference for you and that will affect if you get a job or not the same thing here and I'm not telling you don't play your class anymore. I'm not telling you don't grow in your class. I'm just saying that maybe maybe it's that I need to not be silent as as myself and just say, hey, can you please not uh, charm the mob that I'm on? Uh, can you charm the other mob, <laughs> the one that's hitting you as you're trying to mess it? You know what I mean? That kind of thing. But... Um, it really can affect people later on and they wonder why they're not leveling. They wonder why people that they grouped with at level 20 are now level 50 and they are still level 30. And that is how the game works. That's how people are in society is that they are going to choose to group with you or not to group with you based on your prior experience. And though in these lower levels, pre-50, you will always have that ability to grow and change. And if you grow and change, then when we get to 40 and I group with you again and you're, you're on top of it all over the place, you're doing good, then hey, you are not on that list of mine that says I don't want to group with you. And that's how it is for a lot of people. I mean, on Red Server... <laughs> Uh, my friends are the people that I don't group with or they are the people that I don't like. I friend people that I do not want to group with ever <laughs> on, on Red Server. And here all my friends are people that I want to group with. And once I have friends here, I'm not going to remove you from my friends because of the fact that you did something wrong in a group. But I am going to tell you about it. So that you have a heads up that, hey, uh, someone was just telling me that we're have uh, that you are um, charming whenever uh, uh, you're charming with the tank is attacking. And then that way you can know that, hey, I maybe I need to change that or you don't. And then uh, you have the issues I've been talking about. Wow, this is more than I really wanted to talk about. I, I was just originally going to talk about enchanter specifically and just that one little thing that was bothering me but in reality with this kind of game if you don't change the way that you play your class or change the little nuances that can really uh, mess with a group then it will affect your future gameplay so anyway guys that's all i wanted to talk about today i know this was probably the most boring video that you've ever seen because this camp is so slow at spawning or i just made too short of a video for you to see a spawn um but anyway guys thank you so much for watching this is cypher dick have a great day a great night and a great morning peace out